Hello and welcome to the Cobad Remote Foam Part 2 setting up the Cisco 7960G. My name is Marco Andrade and this is the 7960G Cisco IP Foam. First you need to plug in the LAN cable to the Netgear and the switch port of the Cisco Foam with an Ethernet cable and plug the power in. The phone will boot up. Remember, this phone is from a working office with a COVAD VoIP system, so we're going to have to remove some of the settings and add the remote settings on. This phone is booting up right now. It will show Ethernet disconnected until the settings are correct. This is the settings button that we will be using. Once the screen flashes, that's the screen we need. Press the settings button. Go to number 8. Type in the password. Hit accept. That will unlock the config. And go to number 3. Network setup. Number 5 for an IP address. Press the edit button. Backspace, whatever is in there. Type in the IP address that you entered for the DMZ server from part one of the Netgear setup and hit accept. Then number seven, TFTP server. Press the edit key. Backspace, whatever is in there. Enter in 64.2.21. Dot 243. Press accept. Next, we'll do the default router, number nine. Press edit. This is the default gateway in the XP machine or the Netgear LAN IP, which is 254 on, my, on this network. Accept. Now we're going to edit number option 14, which is DNS server 1. Refer to table 1. DNS server 1 is 167.206.245.70. Enter that in. Hit accept. And then 15, DNS server 2. Again, table 1 has the DNS server 2, which is 167.206.245.6. Again, this table 1 is in option is in section C of the step-by-step -step setup. DNS server 3 is 167.206.245.71. Hit accept. At this point, we're going to want to go back to the main menu. Option 4. MGCP configuration and option 3 which is the output port want to backspace whatever's in there enter in 2727 from table 1 that's the output port to allow real-time protocol out through the DMZ press accept At this point you want to hit the save button that appears in the soft key on the bottom and now that we've saved the configuration we're able to reboot the phone so we can just unplug the power cable from the phone. Count to five. Plug the phone back in. Phone go through the boot up process once again, just like before. This time we have the correct configuration in the phone. The phone will come up just like in the office and you're ready to work. Again, let it configure the IP. It's going to search for the TFTP server that we entered. It's requesting the configuration from the TFTP server. Loading 377. The Cisco systems icon appears and now you should see your work extension
and we are ready to go the phone is set up and ready to go and we do have we're able to enter a number that's all good luck using your phone through the remote setup of Kovad thank you